Now, if there's one thing you should always pick up at Goodwill, it's hands. Mickey Mouse hands. Now, I think these are marketed as wall hooks, but you could use them for soap or keys or coins. What would you use them for? Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Tuesday afternoon and I've had a busy morning. I met with contractors at our new house this morning. They've got an awful lot done. I'll have some footage for you at the end of the video on um, everything that's been happening there and also some footage of Bear, our uh, German Shepherd puppy. He is growing like a weed. He is happy and healthy and just a joy. He is a lovely, lovely dog. I'm here at Goodwill. Um, it's a beautiful sunny afternoon in February, February 1st. It's a bit windy and a bit chilly for Vegas, 57 degrees. I know a lot of you are in snow, especially my Canadian friends. Um, stay warm. <laughs> I'm sure you would love to have 57. But let's go inside and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting. The parking lot's a bit busy. I hope you can hear me over the wind got to remember to look through the window and see if I can see the color of the day. Uh, there seem to be lots of shopping carts so hopefully it won't be too busy inside. The color of the day is green. All green tags are 50% off. Let's go see what we can find. Let's grab a cart. This one's easy. There we go and make our way back to the hard goods. Oh, it's a bit busy this way, so let's do something different and go around the other way through the clothes and purses and women's shoes. A couple of videos ago, I did really, really well with a Vera Bradley crossbody purse. So many people wanted it. It sold ever so quickly. And I'm spotting here another couple of Vera tote bags. And fortunately, they're not in the best condition and they're $12.99 a piece. So I'm going to leave those for someone else. When I pick up purses, they have to be in excellent condition, if not brand new. So I get asked this question an awful lot and it is how do I store my eBay and Poshmark inventory? Well up until now I've actually had those black and yellow totes stacked to the ceiling in my living room and they've been coded with a letter. Uh, eBay listings have a custom code line where you can input whatever you want and uh, that's where I enter what tote the item can be found in. In my new house I am going to have open shelves just like Goodwill. The code will correspond to the shelf the items on and it will make it much easier to find things quickly. I'm actually going to insert a little footage at the end of this video of my new shelves. Just a sneak peek. Here we are in the hard goods and I'm immediately spotting what I think is... No, it isn't. I thought it was a Mexican pottery vase, but it is actually a lightweight florist piece that I'm going to leave. So let's pop back over here and start on the first shelf. They've recently moved the candles over here. Still searching for my first fire and light. I'm holding out hope. And maybe one of these days I shall find one. This is a really pretty one. No label though. Let's see. What else do they have? So 
some plates down here. Plaques. What is going to be the first thing I put in my cart? It's a little Asian pottery planter. And I'm just not crazy about that. I don't think I can make $20 profit and it will probably sit in my store for a while. And for the combination of those reasons, I'm going to leave it. Let's see, sort of Capa de Monte style. I think that's a hobbyist piece. These are Target Christmas trees <laughs> in peach color. They're not a price I can resell at either, so I'll leave those. Now, if there's one thing you should always pick up at Goodwill, it's hands. Mickey Mouse hands. Now, I think these are marketed as wall hooks, but you could use them for soap or keys or coins. What would you use them for? They're only $2.99 a piece. Unfortunately, they don't have the little plate that slots into the uh, holder at the back there but I'm sure those would be easy to find. Let's get them in the cart. What else is on this shelf? Let's see. Look at this tile. This is fantastic. The artist is Cleo Tysidra. It's a southwestern piece of art and it's wonderful. I love the colors and the design. And as if by magic, the thrifting blanket appears. Let's get these in the cart too. I almost forgot. It's one. Here's two. There we go. I think I've looked at this before. It keeps moving around the store. Not sure what that is. It's a pretty plate, but not as old as I thought. I have so many plates at the moment and they just aren't moving on eBay. Actually, it looks like that's a saucer. So I'm going to leave that one. Lots of decorative pieces. That one's resin. Let's see some signs down here. This is a pioneer woman picture. And these were selling well for a while. They're available at Walmart. And when Walmart sells out, they sell quite well. But when Walmart has stock, uh, it's a better deal there. This is quite a pretty plate, RCCL. It's a Christmas plate. I'm not really familiar with that brand, so I'm going to look that up on eBay and see if that is worth me picking up. This is a little planter. Again, it looks older than it is, I believe. I found one of these with a butterfly on it quite some time ago. And this is a mum with a newborn. That is really lovely. It would actually be nice to sell the two in a set. This one with the butterfly one. That's really pretty. Let's put that in the cart. There we go. It's quite delicate so I have to remember to be careful with that. What else do they have? There's a bowl. This looks like a plant stand here.
Here we are in the clear glass. I don't know if you noticed, but all of those cruets are completely gone. They're com all sold. The inventory at this Goodwill moves ever so quickly. If I come back for something, it's usually not there. Oh, I had high hopes for that, but it's quite lightweight, not very good quality. Let's see. Platters are still here. Same seasonal bits. Let's see if there's anything new. Oh, look at this pumpkin pitcher. Again, that's not what I thought it was. Not very good quality. Possibly a big lots item. When ceramic items like this aren't good quality, they chip and break very easily. And you can just tell that they're you know, they're cheap and, and not good quality. So I'm going to pass on that. What's this? This is a automatic eraser. <laughs> That's new in the packet. You know, that might be something that sells well on eBay, probably $20. I'm gonna pop that in the cart and uh, look it up on eBay to see as a July 4th bucket, that's quite nice. Some hair dye. Wow, they just have everything here, don't they? Baskets for Easter. Everybody loved those Pysansky eggs. I'm gonna be on the lookout for more of those, definitely. Let's see, ooh, look at this little bunny dish. That's really sweet. I think this is a Hallmark item, but with Easter coming up, this is a great eBay item. I love the bunny. I love the thickness of the rim there on the basket. Let's see if I can peel the sticker. I'm pretty sure it's Hallmark. Let's have a look. No, that is, no <laughs> it's not wanting to come off, is it? Well, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get that anyway. I'm almost positive it's Hallmark. It's a lovely piece. It's in great condition. 3.99. Let's fix that. These days they only need that little Q code, the little square code there to scan at the register. So, that is intact. There we go in the in the cart there. These are some pumpkin bowls. These aren't very good quality either. They look like they might have had a lid each at some point. It's a little framed picture there. It's personalized. We'll leave that. What's this? That's a coffee pot that goes to a base. Okay, we're rounding the corner. Let's have a look and see what the Christmas aisle looks like. It amazes me how this is always so fully stocked with Christmas. They must just have boxes and boxes back there waiting to go out. Of course, I suppose this is the time of year. If people are moving out of Vegas, um, what they're going to get rid of is their Christmas stuff. So there's going to be a steady flow, I'm sure. Let's see if we can find anything good. Just piles of stuff here. Lots of ornaments, wreaths, lots of tinsel. A tinsel was really popular when I was little. We used to put tinsel and glass balls on the tree and that was it. Just lately, it doesn't seem to be as popular, and um, people use a ribbon instead. Do you do you still use tinsel, or do you use ribbon? What do you like best? And it keeps going. There's more and more. <laughs> the Jonathan Adler pieces are still here. Sadly, they just don't have much resale value. 
Oh, look at these little ornaments. Both my kids have a mini Christmas tree that they have in their room. And these little ornaments are perfect for those trees. We'll get those. Just piles of stuff. I want to have a look at this snowman to see if it's Fitz and Floyd or anything. No, I think it's just a, a made in China piece. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Oh, this guy's fallen over. Let's fix him. What a cute little bear. We'll stand him up. There we go. Oh, look at that. What a fun mug, naughty and nice. It looks like it's got a little floor there. It's not a crack. I think it's just a floor to the glaze. And there's another one here. Those are lovely. Naughty and nice. <laughs> 99 cents a piece. I'm definitely going to get those. Carefully pop them in. Oh, I think I already need to do my omelette fold of the Thrifting Vegas blanket to keep everything nice and safe. Yep, that is definitely just a little glaze uh, floor and not a break. I really like those. I'm so glad there's a pair. Let's get this one in the cart too. I had so much interest in those mugs and plates I found with the polka dots and the red bow. We're almost in the mug section. I'm going to have a look for some more. So I'm scanning the shelves for more of those bow and polka dot mugs. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a broken hat, but he matches the other gnome that I picked up last time. And I think the other one just didn't have the hat on. I had so much interest in the gnome mug. So I'm definitely going to grab this and just sell it without the hat. There we go. Almost at the end of this row. I'm not seeing any more of those plates and mugs. But I will keep an eye out just in case more get put out in future trips. We're across the aisle in the baskets and the shelves and the frames and the plaques. Ooh, there's a box. Always check boxes. You never know what's inside. It's quite a nice inlaid jewelry box there, but for some reason they're not selling very well for me at the moment. Look at this. It's a gorgeous leopard in the jungle. These are vintage placemats, but sadly, they're not in very good condition. They're a bit scratched, a bit scuffed at the edges, and Goodwill's done their tape thing, and I'm really not sure if I can get that off safely, so I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Some magazine racks, some pink box shelves, this is for a uh, golf ball display. My kids have paws. <laughs> Some of them do. <laughs> Lots of baskets. You could make a fantastic Easter basket display for not much money. Goodwill always has lovely baskets and Easter grass and usually some eggs. There's some more down here, matching ones. 
this tree uh, art is still here. It's very heavy carved wood and not in very good condition. So I'm not going to pick that one up. It's a mirror. More signs. What's this back here? It's a little chipmunk. Not sure what it is. Maybe it's missing half of its stands there. It's a little baggy. I wonder what's in here. Nothing. It looks like some fasteners and clips. That's Christmas uh, hangers. Let's see. More signs. You had me at bacon. <laughs> As you can see, there's not always a whole lot to choose from on every shelf, but it's always worth looking. You just never know when a treasure will appear. More golf ball displays. We're in the vases. I love that there's not much here because it means that they've sold through an awful lot. I like this, but it's quite a lightweight florist piece. Ooh, look at this. I don't think it's too terribly high end, but it looks like recycled glass. It's quite heavy and thick. A few bubbles and striations in the glass. The bottom's frosted. It's definitely handmade. You see the unevenness in the top? Really like the look of that. We'll take it. What else have they got? Some floral pieces. It's a nice empty shelf waiting for more treasures. Oh, look at this. This is a piece of pink depression glass. It's a candle holder. But unfortunately, see, it's got a massive crack in it. That's really a shame. Having a look at every piece. So moving into the florals here and the metals. I always check pieces like this for Nambe. And Wendell August Forge makes hammered aluminium that sells really well. I know many of you have commented on the way I say aluminium. It's a British pronunciation. In America, it's aluminum. In England, it's aluminium. This is a blue planter with roses, ceramic. I love the look of it, but it's not very good quality, not very um, heavy or substantial. Lots of racks and wire, organizers, baskets. Fantastic if you're organizing an office or a pantry. Let's see. Sconces here. Lots of wall decorations. <laughs> Look at this goose. She's a bit dirty and worse for wear, unfortunately. Lots of decorative pieces. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is fantastic. My dad has a similar golf player. This is a baseball player. Let's see if I can um, find a place to show you how it looks. Look at that. 
They've captured the movement fantastically. Just as he's swinging through, look. That's lovely. I'm definitely going to grab that. It might be a bit big to ship, but I can't leave it behind. There we go. Let's see if there's any more of those by any chance. I always say if you find something you like, have a look around because there might be more than one. It's a Thanksgiving candle display. What's this one? Some leaves. quite like this gather sign down here but it looks like it's damaged it's got some sort of sharpie mark on it next to the T there someone tried to fix a scratch or something I'm gonna leave that it's the mug section and I just wanted to give you a shot at a distance so you can appreciate how quickly this store sells through do you remember last time how absolutely packed these shelves were with mugs and now the bottom three shelves are almost empty. I just think that is fantastic. That's really an awesome job, Goodwill. Well done. That means you have a successful store and things are selling through. Let's see if there's anything here that catches my eye. Some glasses here. I love these amber and blue and green glasses. It almost looks like there's a set of little juice glasses here and then a set of tall ones in the similar colors. I don't think they match at all. I think it's just coincidence but I had to organize those like that to show you. <laughs> yeah, the blues are quite different. What's this one? Oh, this is a tall set. There's actually three of the tall tumblers in different colors. It's actually a trend at the moment to have mismatching glasses, mismatching candlesticks, similar but not exactly the same. And I think that's really a fun thing to do. Lots more glasses, mostly clear now. Why did they? Oh, look at these. These are egg cups for what I call dippy eggs. They're soft boiled eggs. And uh, in England, it's a tradition for children to have toast cut into sort of fingers, or they're called soldiers. And then you cut the top off the soft boiled egg and dip the toast into the runny egg. And these are the egg cups that hold your soft boiled egg upright. There look to be six of them. I'm going to grab those. Please stay tuned for the end of the video where I show you everything I came home with, tell you what I paid and what I'm asking. If you're interested in purchasing anything you see in the haul, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com and I'll let you know if it's still available. The prices I quote during the haul are the prices I'm asking. I don't always come home with everything I put in my cart. I take a minute at the end of my shopping trip to look through my cart and look items up on eBay solds just to make sure it's worth my time to resell them. In this case, I've looked up the Pioneer Woman picture and discovered that it's just not worth the hassle, so I'm going to pop it back on the shelf for somebody else to purchase. Also, I noticed that the little RCCL plate had a chip on one corner, so that will go back on the shelf as well. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Again, the shelves are a bit bare, so Goodwill has done a great job selling through their stock. 
and open the way for new treasures to be put out. This is a little English teapot by a company called El Grieve. Sadly, the gold trim is worn away on the handle. Uh, in perfect condition, it would be about a $25 item, but in that condition, it's just not worth me picking up. Some pretty bakers down there. Lots of bowls. Some coasters, creamers. These are fun little soup and sandwich dishes. They're very modern, but quite fun. It's another teapot. That's a made in China. Did you see how it shot up in the air when I picked it up? It's really lightweight. <laughs> Some salt and peppers. Have a look at this canister here. That's a very modern piece and only one. There's a set of three here. Made in China. Look at this lovely little dish. It's hand painted, probably Portuguese. Let's see, it's stickers over it. Wonder if we can peel that. Looks like somebody's already had a go. It's hand painted and numbered. Say no more, I'll definitely grab that. I love those flowers. I love the fact that it's not perfectly symmetrical. Let's put it carefully in the cart. Really need to fold this over. There we go. This looks like false graph. Let's see. This is a sur la table utensil crock made in Portugal, $30 price tag. It's super duper heavy though. Looks to be in good condition. This is a piece I'm going to put in the cart and check the solds on eBay to see if it's worth me picking it up. Carefully rest it there. There's lots more of those soup and sandwich dishes if you needed a set. In the travel mug section, not many of those left either, are there? Pots and pans, molds here, lots of lids as usual. <laughs> Bakers. There's another one of those flower pots here. I'll take that round to the first aisle in a minute. Put the two together. I'm going to have a look at this little teapot here. That's quite heavy. I think it might be cast iron. That's similar to those Asian teapots I found the other week. $2.99. Let's get that. Back here is a tea kettle. Very pretty. Sadly, it's very scratched and a bit worse for wear. Handles a bit rusty too, so I'm going to leave that one.
Not much on this shelf either. Some little sauce dishes there. They just brought out a new cart. Let's go have a peek and see if there's anything good in there. Careful not to get in anybody's way. Some mugs, pictures, some plush. That's not vintage. I love the old anchor hocking canisters. They come in all colors and some of them even glow under a black light. Having a quick look through the plates and the bowls and the dishes to see what they have. Ooh, look at these. These are California pottery. They look to be in fantastic condition. A set of four little green leaf dishes. Let's carefully get those in the cart. I have to remember to put those two pieces back, the pitcher and the Christmas plate. This looks like another one. No, it's not. I can tell immediately that this is a hobbyist piece. The weight is different. Do you see how the veins of the leaf are not as precise? I'm going to look this up on eBay just to see if there's a demand for uh, hobbyist pieces like this, but this will probably go back on the shelf. Let's see if there's any more pieces in that California pottery set. Ooh, that's plastic. There's a big bowl. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Only two dollars. California pottery. High gloss glaze, just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I'm so excited to find that to sell along with the little small leaf set. Let's carefully put that in too. There we go. I just went back down the vase aisle and look at these amazing wooden flowers in the vase. They've got metal stems. They look to be hand carved and hand painted wood. I love those. And next to them is this vase full of crafted material flowers on stems. Look how fantastic those are. Somebody is so talented to have made that. They're so colorful. Just lovely. What a splash of color. Let's do our last stroll through the art and furniture. These are some lovely little vintage chairs. I wonder if they have the matching table. Let's see. I'm going to turn this over to see if it's marked. Sadly, the sticker or plaque is gone and I really don't have the room or the venue to sell a set of chairs like that so I'm going to leave them for somebody else let's see what they have over here seeing this gold frame with what is obviously an original oil painting very brutalist and crude it's lilies not too terribly old it's got a modern hook on it 
That is a lovely piece though, very creative. So I think I'm going to pick that up for $4. Let's have a flip through because as I always say, if you find one piece you like like that, there could be more. It's another gold frame here. I wonder what that is. No, that is a print. Most of these items are modern. Some picture frames mixed in. Let's pop this on the top of the cart. I'm just admiring it. It's really nicely done. I love the way that the yellow paint looks like light coming through onto the wall behind the flowers there. Gently rest it in the cart. Something across the way caught my eye. Can you see it? Okay. It's that big, tall... Oh, look, there's another one of those chairs. That's three. This big, tall, Asian-looking vase here. Look at that design. As I come closer, though, it's definitely a reproduction. The paint has some chipping and scratching. I'm going to have a quick look at the bottom. It's quite heavy. Yeah, it's $15 and um, just not for me. So I'll leave that for somebody else. I'm going to scan the pet section. And I think we shall call it a day. I'm here at our new house to check on the progress. We've started moving some things in, which is very exciting. That wall you see has been freshly painted, nice and clean, ready for the television. They've put the fixtures in for the pendant lights over the breakfast bar there. That just needs a coat of paint and the lights installed. I'm going to show you them quickly. Here are the pendant fixtures. And in this box are the glass shades I chose. There's three of them. There's this lovely sort of pebble effect that complements the stone and the granite nicely so I'm really excited to see those installed and lit up let's take a peek upstairs and see what's happening I'm told that my office door has now been uh, made ready for custom doors we had to um, frame in the archway and now it's nice and square ready for uh, the doors to go in. You can see my totes in there. These are my storage totes and I've started as I explained at the beginning to put my inventory on those Goodwill style shelves. I think they're working very hard in the master here. I don't want to disturb them. Yeah, there's a lot going on so We'll have a peek at that next time. Let's just see in the bathroom. I think my granite countertops are going in here tomorrow. There's Jake's bed. My love Chris and my dad put that together and worked very hard, so that's fantastic. Here in the bathroom, once the granite's gone in, uh, we shall have a magnifying mirror here in the niche. This is it. It will get secured to the wall there. Uh, mirrors will go on the wall. The light fixture above. Here's my lovely shower, which I'm just so thrilled with. Big shampoo niches. Nice soaker tub. 
The floors look amazing. Here on my table is everything I brought home from Goodwill. Bandit has found a straw. <laughs> Hi Ziggy. Are you playing with a straw? What you got? Ziggy's very interested in these lovely fabric flowers I found. Let's start over here with these gorgeous, gorgeous California pottery <laughs> leaves. There's a set of four smaller dishes and a circular bowl. I did notice, sadly, that one of the leaves has a new chip. I didn't notice it in the store, but still. They are absolutely gorgeous, in amazing condition, made in USA. They were $4.99 and I value each one at between $12 and $15, depending on how many you buy. This larger one is also California Pottery, made in USA. It's number 500B. This one is in absolutely perfect condition. It's gorgeous. I paid $2 for it and I value it at 30. I have never seen crafted flowers like this. There is honestly so much work has gone into each stem and all together, they're just a stunning display for spring and Easter. The vase is perfect. They're just absolutely lovely. If you're interested in this piece, shoot me an offer to my email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. And uh, hopefully these will get a lovely new home altogether. On the back wall here, I think this is my sleeper find. This is a fantastic baseball player. I just love the movement that was achieved in the sculpture. He really looks like he's just swinging through. I paid say $2.99 for it and I value him at 40 There is another vase of flowers here. These are fantastic. They're all different colors. They're wood painted and all the stems are quite thick metal They're in this vase that works perfectly. I paid, oopsie, let's 
let's see. Did we pay for these? Five dollars. And I value them at five to eight dollars a stem. Here we have our Mickey Mouse hands. These are sold as wall hooks. They need a special bracket that they slide into. They're available at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're hooks or soap dishes or trinket dishes. They can hold your keys. I paid $2.99 a piece. I value them at $40 a piece. Used to, they're sort of having a fight bath here. <laughs> this is the gnome mug I found. I took the lid off and it's just like the other one. I have a feeling that's what happened um, to the other one. Its lid got chipped or missing. And uh, it's just gorgeous the way it is. I love the little bird design on his coat. And I value this at $15. I actually picked up these egg cups for me just because my children love the dippy eggs I explained in the video. So now we'll all be able to have dippy eggs at the same time. <laughs> at the back here, we have a pair of naughty and nice very tall mugs. I just love these. One of them has a little flaw in the glaze on the handle. It's not a crack. It's just a little separation of the glaze. Right there. And I really like these. They were 99 cents each. I'm going to ask $25 for the pair plus shipping and if they don't sell I shall keep them for Christmas time. This is the cutest little bunny trinket box. It's made by Hallmark. It's a bunny on a basket. It's ceramic. Made by Hallmark. It was $3.99 and I'll offer that at $25. This, I believe, is Mexican pottery. It has a couple of chippy wares to the handles here, and there's one here. I think the chips here are intentional to show some age or make it look old. This one, unintentional but uh, that's an easy easy fix you can hear Ziggy scoodling around in the newspaper back here <laughs> sorry <laughs> he's in the box actually that uh, everything came in let me show you actually it's bandit and it's in the box rootling around in the newspaper He's probably going to try to make a comfy bed in there. <laughs> All right. Over here, I have the holiday ornaments I picked up for my children's Christmas trees. They're just a big lots item, 99 cents to me, but um, they're ideal for what I need them for. Just mini ornaments for mini trees. This is a Helix Technical Auto Eraser. It's a battery powered professional eraser um, for technical drawing. I paid $2.99 for it and it's valued about $15 to $20. This is a gorgeous trivet tile. It's um, Southwestern Art, Cleo, to Cedra. I paid $2 for it and I value it 
at 25. This is a stunning three-dimensional wall, wall hanging, or um, you'd pop it on an easel. It says, every good and perfect gift is from above. It's a beautiful mother and baby. And as I said in the video, I actually have one of these. It's very similar, but it's a butterfly. Paid 99 cents for this. I value it at $20. This is a, I believe it's cast iron teapot. It's painted a lovely rusty brown, has a lid, it's just for decorative use. It was $2.99 and I value it at $25. Last but not least, I have this little mystery. I found this gorgeous, gorgeous blue vase. It's sort of frosted and striated from the inside. The top is a little uneven, which tells me it was handmade. Striations and a few bubbles tell me it's recycled. And then on the bottom, I don't know if I can catch this on the camera, but there's some sort of signature. Let's see if I can. You see it on the top right there, right about 11 o'clock. And I just can't make it out. I've been doing some research. I've Google lensed it. And I don't know if it's just my name but it looks to me like it says Tiffany. <laughs> it's not Tiffany and Company because that's not their logo. The logo of Tiffany and Company is capitalized. It's very um, straight and formal and stamped. And I just not sure about this signature. I'm going to do some more research. If anybody knows who makes this lovely piece, please leave me a comment. I just love it. Oh, funny story about that gorgeous um, oil painting. I was walking out into the uh, checkout line with it and a lady said, oh, I love that art. Can I give you $20 for it after you've checked out? And of course, me being me, said, oh, just take it. You can have it and pay for it. <laughs> so I'm glad that beautiful piece got a really good home. Um, I loved it. It was a great find. So I am happy to have given it to someone who appreciates it. On that note, Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the footage of our new house and of Bear. And I'll see you next time. Bye.